Welcome to the weekly podcast by the Center for Investment Education and Learning. This is Deepa Vasudevan. In the build up to the June 3rd monetary policy review, I am going to speak about the issues before the Reserve Bank of India. The RBI could not have asked for a better macroeconomic backdrop. The last 2 weeks have been euphoric for financial markets. Stock markets have rallied to new highs with the prospect of political stability and better governance. Bond deals are declining anticipating that fiscal deficit could be reduced by the new government. In the month of May itself FII's brought in a net amount of 4.4 billion dollars into the capital market almost equal to what came in during the entire year 2013-14. Last year India was part of the fragile 5 now it is counted as one of the fabulous 5 emerging economies. There is lots of good news but the rbi is not celebrating instead it is busy grappling with the consequences of rising dollar inflows from the start of this fiscal year the rupee has appreciated by about 2.7% against the dollar the exchange rate has moved from rupees 60 to about rupees 58 per dollar mainly because of the surge in fii flows other factors such as a lower current account deficit and expectations of higher economic growth have also strengthened the rupee the rbi has been buying dollars to prevent excessive rupee appreciation in the process it has accumulated dollar reserves of 11 billion this year an appreciating rupee hurts exports already growth in goods exports has tapered off to levels of 4 to 5% from the double digit growth that we saw in late 2013 on the other hand an appreciating rupee reduces the costs of imported items such as crude oil and gold this keeps imported inflation under control and we know that inflation management is a key priority for rbi at this point of time balancing the exchange rate to ensure that the rupee does not appreciate or depreciate too much is the most important task before rbi tinkering with monetary policy is neither necessary nor will it be beneficial if rbi was to tighten monetary policy by increasing interest rates the higher yields would attract more foreign inflows and strengthen the rupee further of course growth would be adversely affected too that's not good policy for an economy which is hoping to emerge from two years of below 5% growth on the back of fresh reform what if rbi reduces rates that would be dangerous too Consumer price inflation remains at 8% plus levels. If the predicted El Nino effect reduces the amount or distribution of rainfall received this monsoon season, food prices could rise some more. A drop in rates at this time when the trends in inflation and growth are both unclear would only affect inflation expectations. There is not much RBI can do to reduce inflation or stimulate growth right now. except to wait and watch doing nothing is probably the best policy